Pre-approval is a payer's authority to have their account automatically debited by you for future invoices or payments. Obtaining the authority to automatically debit your payers for future invoices is as simple as navigating to the payers page inside the Pinch platform, locating the payer you would like to request pre-approval from, and from the payers profile, nominating to send pre-approval via the payer actions button. The email that is sent to your payers when you request pre-approval can be easily customized by navigating to the config page and then to the emails tab. Here you can update the subject and copy content of the pre-approval request email as well as the pre-approval confirmation email that is sent to your payers once they have completed their pre-approval. When your payer receives the pre-approval request, they will be prompted to nominate either a credit or debit card or bank account along with some of their details to complete the authorization. Once a payer completes the pre-approval request form, you will receive an email notifying you that they have granted pre-approval and the payer will also receive an email confirming that their pre-approval was successful. You will then see the payer record in Pinch showing a status of active. This means that they are pre-approved for automatic debits. Managing multiple pre-approvals is made easy via the Manage Pre-Approvals button on the Payers page. Here you can select from a list of payers not currently pre-approved for automatic debits and send multiple pre-approvals in one go. Pinch gives you the ability to set up your own personalised payment plan cycles to subscribe your payers to. They can include a combination of fixed payments and or recurring payments and can be set to break down an existing invoice or generate a new invoice or series of invoices for you. To view your current payment plans in Pinch, head over to the Plans and Subscriptions page. This will show you a list of your personalised payment plans and a list of your payers that you have subscribed to these payment plans. To create a new payment plan, simply click the Add Payment Plan button. Here you can add fixed payments and or recurring payments that make up your payment plan, such as a fixed plan commencement fee, followed by a monthly recurring fee starting one month later up to a limit, in this example, of 12 payments. You can then choose the appropriate invoicing option depending on whether you would like a new invoice to be generated for each payment, a single invoice to be generated for all payments in the payment plan, or if you would like to break down an existing invoice using the payment plan you're creating. You can then choose the invoicing template to use and chart of account to use when generating invoice line items, in addition to the payment plan name that's displayed to yourself and the payment plan name displayed to your payers as a reference. Once you have saved the payment plan, you will be able to subscribe your payers to the payment plan either from the payment plan's details page or from the payers profile. Navigating back to the plans and subscriptions page and then to the payment plan we just created, you will see the option to add a subscriber to this payment plan. Navigating instead to the payers page and then to a payer record, you will see the option to add a subscription to the payer's profile and choose one of your payment plans to subscribe them to. Pinch removes the hassle of reconciliation by automatically marking invoices as paid when payment is received against them and applying these funds to a clearing account in Xero. When Pinch settles these funds to you, we add a credit to the clearing account for the settled funds and for the transaction fees, which brings the balance of the clearing account back to zero dollars. This allows you to clearly see the settled funds and the transaction fees that make up your invoice totals and allows Xero to match the settled funds to your bank statement and automatically reconcile your settlement in one click.